What's happening around the world? It's time for another serving of news bites. 最近国内外发生哪些大事？午餐搭配 ISRT News Bites， 慢慢的一口接一口，吸收最新时事和趣闻。Hello, everybody, and welcome to a new episode of News Bites. I'm Trevor Tortomasi, and I'm Nancy Sun. In today's news, an earthquake rocks Taiwan. Elephants get ID cards, and scientists find a real millipede. All that and more coming up next. Top of Taiwan. Taiwan 东北发生六点零地震 Magnitude 6.0 earthquake shakes northeastern Taiwan. Whoa! Did you feel that? Why is everything shaking? Oh no! It's an earthquake. 有地震 Well, that's what many people in Taiwan said on January third at five forty-six p.m. It's when an earthquake began to shake Taiwan for almost a full minute. The earthquake's epicenter, Zhenyang, was about fifty-seven kilometers east of the island. But even in northern Taiwan, scientists say the earthquake was a level 6.0. Luckily, Xinhao officials say no one was hurt. However, it caused a lot of inconvenience, 造成了麻烦 for many people. As the earth shook, some parts of Taiwan had a power outage, 停电 As a result, some people got stuck in elevators, and some trains had to stop to make sure everyone was safe. 结果有些人卡在电梯里面，另外有几班火车要停下，先确认所有的乘客都安全。Earthquakes happen when parts of Earth shift, 转移 or move around. These shifting parts are called tectonic plates, 构造板块 and they are very, very big. In fact, most of Asia, 亚洲 is all on one tectonic plate. And because the edge of that plate is very close to Taiwan's east coast, earthquakes are very common in Taiwan. 因为亚洲主要构造板块的边缘刚好很靠近台湾的东岸。地震在台湾算是很常见的事。Of course, we can't know when an earthquake is going to happen, so we just have to make sure we are prepared. 做好准备 for when it does. Going global. 斯里兰卡大象将要拿到自己的身份证。Sri Lankan elephants will get their own identity cards. Each person has something called an identity, 身份 and in most countries, people need to get an identity card, 身份证卡 also called an ID card. An identity card can prove, 证明 that you are who you are when other people need to know, but can only humans, 人类 use them? Well, in the country of Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka elephants are getting their own identity cards too. In Sri Lanka, elephants are very sacred, 神圣的 and they are also very popular with tourists, 观光客 But even though it looks fun to ride an elephant, not all of their owners are taking good care of them. 虽然骑着大象看起来很好玩。很多大象的主人并没有很照顾它们。So animal rights activists, 动物权益保护者 are giving each of these pet elephants an ID card. Each card will have a photo of the elephant on it with a DNA stamp, DNA 印章 This will also help doctors tell the elephants apart and give each one a medical checkup once every six months. 这样也会帮医生把大象分清楚，并且每六个月提供一次身体检查。And the elephants will also be signed up for a two and a half hour bath each day. There are around seven thousand five hundred elephants still living in the wild, 野生的 in Sri Lanka today. Let's hope giving them an identity can help them get some respect. Today's feature: 真正的千足虫被发现在地下深处 True millipede discovered deep underground. Have you ever seen a centipede? 蜈蚣 Centi comes from an old word for one hundred, 
and pied comes from an old word for foot. So a centipede got its name because a long time ago people thought it had one hundred feet. Now what about millipedes? 马路千足虫 If you know that the word root mill is an old word for one thousand, then you would know that a millipede has one thousand feet, right? 如果你知道 mill 就是一千的意思。那你也就会知道 millipede 是一千只脚的，对吧 ？Well, wrong. Most millipedes can have as few as twenty-four legs, or as many as seven hundred and fifty. But that still wasn't enough until recently. Scientists have found a new species of millipede that lives very deep underground in Australia. 科学家最近找到了新种类的马路。在澳洲地下深处 ，and it has one thousand three hundred and six legs. Scientists are calling it the Eumelopes persephone, in which the first word means true thousand foot. It's about ten centimeters long. That's a very tiny body for all those legs. But we finally found a millipede that lives up to its name. The recap. So, in today's news bites, an earthquake shook Taiwan on January third at 5:46 p.m. for almost a full minute. The earthquake's epicenter was about 57 kilometers east of the island. Officials say no one was hurt, but it caused a lot of inconvenience for many people. And some elephants in Sri Lanka are getting their own identity cards. Each card will have a photo of the elephant on it and a DNA stamp. This will help doctors tell the elephants apart and give each one a medical checkup once every six months. And scientists have found a new species of millipede that lives very deep underground in Australia. Most millipedes can have as few as twenty-four legs or as many as seven hundred fifty, but this one has one thousand three hundred six legs. And that's today's episode of News Bites. This week, we asked you to have your say about your unique skill. Eight-year-old Ian from Yucheng Elementary School says he can wiggle his ears. My unique skill is to wiggle my ears. When I show my unique skill to my friends, I feel proud. Of myself and feel happy. And thirteen-year-old Terry from Shalu Junior High School says he can ride a unicycle. My unique skill is to ride a top a unicycle. A unicycle is like a bicycle, but it has only one wheel, so it's not easy to ride on it. And that does it for this week's Have Your Say. Remember, if your answer was chosen for the show this month, we'll be sending you a gift in the mail. Make sure to tune in again next week for an all-new question. ICRT 与教育部国民及学前教育署下次继续和您聊新闻。ICRT app 和网站也能重复收听。More local and international news next time on News Bites, brought to you by the K-12 Education Administration. Find past episodes available on the ICRT website and app.